Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. Alright, so last time, Ramirez and Galshin managed to raise the lost continent of Soltis from beneath the clouds. So, uh, since we're here, I guess we should go ahead and check it out, see what we can learn about this place. <laughs> Talk about bad luck with random battles, wow, that could have come at a worse time. Alright, so let's check this place out. What's wrong? Why did we stop? I remember hearing about a dome of light. Dome of light? Yes, it was an ancient defense mechanism. It was able to protect Sultus from the Gigas. Galshin is using it to protect himself from us. We've got to find a way through it. <laughs> the dome of light is impenetrable. Not even the Delphinus can touch us. Ramirez, I believe the world needs a demonstration of our power. As you wish. Valua could use a little rain. Silver Giga, Silos, obey my command. Call forth the rains of destruction from the yellow moon. Is that... no. Feels like a storm's brewing. Hey, look at the moon. Is that an eclipse? The moon looks rather odd, wouldn't you say? Who cares about the moon? We're late for a party and I simply look ravishing in my new dress. Your Majesty, perhaps you would be more comfortable sitting. Beleza, look, look at the moon. You're on your own, Empress. I'm getting out of here. Guards, escort me out of here at once. Enrique, hang on. Don't worry about me, just go. The Grand Fortress is still standing, we're trapped. Excellent. 
I have won. Now all shall bow before me. The world is mine. Prince Enrique? Uh, uh. Your Majesty, you're alive. Beleza. Beleza, I, I... I thank you. Thank you for saving my life. There's no need to thank me. It's a miracle that either of us is alive. Valua. What happened to Valua? Are the people alright? Beleza? Beleza, what happened? What? No, it... it can't be. It's not real. It can't be real. Beleza, please. Please tell me that this is all just a bad dream. Prince Enrique, I'm sorry. I... I can't believe that they actually used the Reigns of Destruction. Fina. Vice, maybe we should head back to Crescent Isle and take a minute to regroup. We can't do anything to get into Soltis right now, anyway. You're right. I really hate to do this, but it looks like we have no choice but to just head home for now. Oh man, so yep, yeah, they did it. We knew they were crazy enough to. They called down the Reigns of Destruction, and Valua has been pretty much completely obliterated. Just a testament to how truly powerful Zelos and the Reigns of Destruction really are. But uh, since they have this big, impenetrable dome of light, we can't really do anything to get in at the moment, so um, as Gilder suggested, we pretty much just need to head back home for now and figure out just what in the world we're going to do next. Uh, thankfully, it looks like Enrique made it out of there okay. It was a little bit hairy, but um, I guess Beleza is a good enough pilot that she was able to avoid most of it. So I was glad to see that they're fine, but man, I can't say the same for the rest of Valua. And we saw the Queen die there, get collapsed by the rubble. Uh, the Grand Fortress is completely gone. All the people in Lower City, Upper City, um, it's pretty much all been destroyed. So Valua's been decreased to a population of two, I guess, if you want to count Enrique and Beleza. So uh, pretty crazy stuff. All right, let's see where we're at here, getting somewhat close. So all right, let's go ahead and head back to Crescent Isle. Vice, I... I heard that something terrible has happened. Mawagi, I'm afraid that Galshin used the Reigns of Destruction on Valua. What? But, but what about Enrique? Is he... No, he... he can't be. Vice, if we don't do something soon, Gaussian will destroy the world one island at a time. We have to stop him. I know, I'm working on it. How are we supposed to stop him? His base is an entire continent, and there's that shield around it. Looks like there's not much we can do except take on Gaussian himself. But we can't even get to him. Damn, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. Oh yes, there is. I leave you guys alone for a few days, and you're ready to surrender? Enrique, you're alive! Enrique! Moeki, it's alright, I'm okay. I was so worried about you. We were in Valua when the rains hit. Beleza saved me. I owe her my life. My mother and so many others were killed. We can't let this happen again. We must stop Galshin. 
But how? Lord Gaosha wants to rule the world, not destroy it. Volua was just an example. Now that he's made his example, he can demand allegiance from all of the other countries. He will send his armada to each of the countries as a show of force and demand that they surrender. He will most likely go with them. You're right. Once he's out of his base, we'll have a shot at him. Vice, I know that you aren't too keen on giving up, but we need to be realistic here. There's no way that the Delvinus can take out Gaussian's entire fleet. He's right. If you fought him alone, you would lose. But there has to be a way. We can't just give up. Damn it. Hey, boy. What's wrong with you, boy? No matter what happens, I'll never give up. You told me that once, or have you forgotten already? That voice. Boy, it's been a long time. Captain! Soltis is the root of all of our problems. We've got to send that place back to Deep Sky, where it belongs. But... But we don't stand a chance against the entire armada. Well, Fina, have you forgotten about me already? Clara! Don't forget, I'm an air pirate too. I can't just sit around and let Galshin take over the world. That new continent has driven away all of the food. Now I don't have any customers. That's more than enough reason for me to fight. Vice, I heard what was going on. We must fight together for the future of this world. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Baltor? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you because I hate Galshin more than I hate you. As soon as we kick his arse, I'm coming after you. <laughs> if there's a fight to be fought, then you can count us in. You saved our country. Now it's time to return the debt of honor. We, the Tinku, will also aid you. Vice. With this many ships, we may just stand a chance against the Armada. Aka, just because we're a little late, don't count us out. Dad! Vice, you've done quite a bit of growing up since I last saw you. If you have this many allies, you must be quite a captain. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. All right, Captain, we await your orders. Okay. We can't let Gaussian get away with this. We need to take back the skies and free the world. Tonight, I want everyone to rest up. Tomorrow, we make history. It looks like this is it. I think I'm gonna like this. Who could it be at this time of night? It's me, Vice. Beleza? What are you doing up at this time of... I... I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? You're not gonna fight with us? I'm afraid not. You can't expect me to fight my own men. And besides, there's something else that I have to take care of. Something else? That reminds me. I took a peek into Aka and Fina's rooms earlier. Neither of them were there. Huh? Are you serious? They were probably unable to sleep, you know, the night before a battle. They aren't as tough as they pretend to be. A good captain would find them and comfort them. <laughs> Alright, I'll go check up on them. <laughs> I figured you would. Well then, I must be on my way. Goodbye. I know you'll grow to be a great leader, and try not to break too many hearts. Goodbye, Vice. Hmm. 
it's kind of a <laughs> kind of an interesting scene with Beleza there. I mean, we we another one of the admirals that we kind of knew all along that she was in it for the right reasons. You know, she didn't want unnecessary bloodshed. She tried to do things diplomatically if possible. So, you know, you, you could tell that she was a good person underneath it all. So, you know, when Galshin um, eventually came into power that, you know, she would eventually figure something's not right. Especially after he basically betrayed her and called down the reins of destruction while she was there. So, um, but yeah, I guess she has a point. We can't really expect her to fight her own men. I guess she's got other things to take care of. So maybe we'll see her later. But for now, we're going to check out, uh, like she said, Aka and Fina were not in their rooms. So I guess we have to search them out and see what's going on. And the first one's going to be up here. You can see Aka's kind of hanging out on the balcony. Hey, Aka. Vice, what are you doing up this late? Shouldn't I be asking you that question? What are you doing out here? <laughs> Good point. I should answer you first, I suppose. I don't know. I crawled into bed, but I couldn't sleep. Maybe I'm just scared. <laughs> this isn't like me, I guess. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm scared too. Tomorrow's gonna be our toughest battle yet. Really? I didn't think you ever got scared. Just because I've been placed in charge of tomorrow's assault doesn't mean that I'm not afraid of anything anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've been through so much. I guess it's hard for me to remember you as the kid next door. That makes me feel a little better, that I'm not the only one who's scared around here. There's a lot riding on tomorrow's battle. I guess it's normal to be scared. I feel the same way. Hey, I'll bet Gaussian's scared too. <laughs> I bet he is. I feel so much better now. Maybe I'll be able to get some sleep. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Vice. We're gonna make history tomorrow. Good night. You better not oversleep. Your dad's here, remember? Huh. <laughs> well, there you go. Kiss on the cheek from an old friend. I guess that works. Alright, so well, I'm glad we were able to cheer Aka up. And yeah, it, I mean, this is pretty much the biggest battle that, you know, any of these guys are ever going to face. I mean, you know, fate of the world hanging in the balance and all, so... Yeah, I suppose it would be normal to be a little bit scared, anxious, you know, uh, whatever at this point. But, all right, so we still got to check on Fina. She's going to be up here. This is a pretty good place to stand. This is probably where I'd be hanging out if I was needing to think about things, you know, good view of the world out here and everything. Fina. Vice. Can't sleep? I, I tried to, but... I couldn't stop thinking about Ramirez. I grew up with him. My my whole life, we were always together. We were best friends. It's it's hard to think that now I'm going to have to fight him, and one of us will die tomorrow. As a Sylvine, it is my duty, but... <sighs> Fina. Vice, I have... I have one thing to ask of you. Please, stay by my side. If you're at my side during tomorrow's battle, I know I'll be able to fight him. You're a great leader. I know you will inspire me. Vice. Thank you. Feel better now? Yes. Having you here means a lot to me. Can we stay like this a little longer? Alright, so it looks like we got everyone to go to sleep. You know, you don't want to be, you know, tired for the battle. It's pretty big stuff, so we got to make sure we're rested up. Alright, so here we are, Day of the Assault. Awesome. So let's go ahead and head down. Uh, there's just, I think, maybe one little thing that we want to do. Um, we do want to check with Ryu Khan, because he should have our weapon ready by now. I mean, this is pretty much the end of the game. We're entering the home stretch here pretty soon. Um, I mean, the last few areas are coming up, so, you know, this is definitely in-game material right here. So, if you got any more seeds you want to buy to boost those stats, now is the time to do it. Uh, if you want to get any more weapons, again, now is the time to do it. Alright. 
Vice, I have finished forging the finest blade I have ever crafted. I present to you the Vorlik Blade. And we get the Vorlik Blade. Since this blade was crafted solely for you, I customized the guard and pommel to fit in your hand. This is the finest blade that I have ever created. May it serve you well. Now that I have an adequate forge, I can make weapons. Yeah, 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 we know. Alright, so let's leave. Alright, so he gave us the Vorlik Blade. Now this is the, uh, of course, the, uh, oh, there's our Exploration King Vice. Yeah, we got a new title here. Get to that in a second, but of course the Vorlik Blade is what we get as our reward for finding the two pieces of Valorium. As you can see, it's quite a bit better, especially that increase in hit percentage. Vice is basically never going to miss with regular attacks now. It's awesome, so definitely want to make sure to equip that, bring our attack up even higher like we need it. <laughs> Alright, in our title, Exploration King Vice. Um, you may have seen earlier, I don't know if I pointed it out, but we reached the Vice King of Rogues status, which is basically the highest you can get as far as regular ratings are concerned, like just raising it through, you know, choices and stuff like that. And once you reach that point, you're kind of eligible for other special titles. You get this one for receiving all the discoveries. Um, there's one for, like, fishing. There's one for having a bunch of expensive items. So, you know, there's all kinds of different things you could go for there. But this is the one we got, so that's pretty cool. All right, so I believe that's just about all the preparation we need to make. I mean, we're good on basically all the items. We've got plenty of healing crystals. Uh, we've got some more seeds, which, again, we're still going to hold off on. Uh, we've got Rhyslum Crystals, Curia Crystals, Glyphs of Might, so we're pretty much good to go. So, yeah, I think we are ready to head out. Alright, so into the dock we go. And, of course, um, we do have all three of our uh, little party members here, but uh, we're going to be going with Gilder here. I don't think we actually have the opportunity to change yet. We will, um, after we kind of, you know, once we start getting into the very final part. Uh, they'll let us pick who we want our fourth member to be, but I'm pretty sure they're going to stick us with uh, Gilder for this one. Which is a little unfortunate, I mean, yeah, we haven't been with Gilder that much, but in terms of boss battles, he's probably the weakest out of the, you know, three extra members, so... Uh, it's just a little bit too bad, but no, that's how it goes. Alright, so I guess we are ready to head out. And, um, yep, yeah, okay, let's return to the ship. I figured it would say something else besides just return to your ship, but I guess that works. <laughs> oh man, check out that fleet. Yeah, all our old friends stopped by. I didn't even mention that. I mean, we got ourselves a veritable naval fleet here. It's pretty awesome. The skies are clear and we've got the wind behind us. Considering we're about to enter a battle over the fate of the world, the weather's pretty good. <laughs> I guess. Oh, hey, buddy, we're on the same side now. Hurry up and give us the command to attack. My men are getting restless. This is the longest they've gone without attacking someone, and they're getting jumpy. Vice, the Primrose awaits your command. We're ready to fight. And take good care of Gilder. The Albatross 2 is ready when you are, son. Nice. <laughs> Love that. That's awesome. Captain Vice, we're ready for some action. You've got a personal score to settle with the Armada. Captain Gilder, we'll take care of the Claudia while you're gone. We'll try and get her back to you in one piece. The Ironclad isn't much of a warship, but it's the most maneuverable ship in the fleet. We're also hoping that they underestimate us. Don't worry about a thing, Vice. The Tinku and the rest of the Afutoman Navy are right behind you. This is gonna be good. Boy, let's get moving. The Harpoon Cannon's ready for action. Vice, the Delphinus is ready when you are. This day will always be remembered. How it's remembered is up to us. Right here, right now. Let's make history. My first stop is Nasser. Since we've already destroyed Nazrad, they will beg for mercy, especially after what we did to Valua. My lord, shall I accompany you? 
is not necessary. If any countries resist, I shall destroy them with the rains. I need you here to defend Sultus and to command Zelos to rain down on our enemies. A wise decision. My lord, an unknown fleet of ships is heading this way at attack speed. I can't identify the fleet, but leading the charge is the Delphinus. So, the air pirates have come to challenge me. It saves me the trouble of hunting them down. I shall purge the skies of their kind forever. Lord Gaustian, perhaps I should go as well. No, we cannot lose Sultus. Return at once. Do not worry. The Hydra will dispose of them. Air pirates, it will rain today indeed. The skies shall weep with your blood. All ships, full speed ahead. Destroy the air pirates. Destroy every last one of them. The Armada's closing fast. Alright, battle stations. This is it. Alright, so here we are charging Gaussian's flying fortress, the Hydra, that thing looked interesting. But of course, we've got ourselves a couple of battles to go through first before we can actually take him on. So uh, this one's pretty simple, um, we're, going, we're only going to have to fight two before we actually reach Gaussian's ship. Uh, and this one really shouldn't be able to touch us, it's a pretty weak ship, all things considered. So let's, I will use an Apo Axe though, because I mean we've got 50 of them, so you might as well. And uh, we don't even need to guard, it really doesn't matter, so we'll just focus on this turn. I'm pretty sure it will take a couple rounds. I don't think it's going to go down with one shot like some of the other ones have, but... <laughs> um, it is still really weak. This ship, like, really shouldn't be, even be able to scratch your paint job, so... Uh, there's nothing to worry about here, of course. See, it's even taken a lot of time to prepare its attack, so... <laughs> Oh wow, it did actually go down in one shot. I was not expecting that, honestly. I expected it to at least take two rounds, but man, we're, <laughs> we're even stronger than I thought. That's awesome. Alright, so well, down goes one. <laughs> I guess that works. Got a couple bombs. We've broken their front line, but reinforcements are closing in fast. Galshin, I'm coming for you. Alright, ship battle number two, and this ship may look a little bit familiar. Change the paint around a little bit, and that thing looks awfully, <laughs> awfully familiar here. Infidels, we will not let you pass here. You will get no closer to Lord Galshin. All hands to battle stations. Do whatever you have to do. Just make sure they don't get past us. Yep, <laughs> and it zooms back. This is basically, um, it's sort of a Delphinus class ship we're fighting against, so this one might be a little bit tougher, uh, but again, it's still really not too much to worry about. So let's go ahead and, of course, focus our fire on that C turn. We'll go ahead and use an Apo Axe here. And uh, this time, focusing will actually be useful because it is going to take a few rounds to take this thing out. So let's get to it. You can see it's a little bit different than ours. It seems, uh, I don't know, ours was a prototype. So maybe this was, uh, you know, one of the more finished versions. I'm not sure, but ours looks a little bit spiffier. So maybe that was like an even earlier model or something. I'm not sure. Zero, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. And we're at the point now with Vice's strength and everything, um, especially if you focus on C turns, that doing our regular attacks almost do more than the Moonstone Cannon. In some cases, they can, if you focus like the secondary cannon torpedoes and main cannon on the same turn. Um, I'm fairly certain at this point that will do more damage than our Moonstone Cannon will, so uh, we're in pretty good shape here. And you can see this thing's doing very, very little damage to us, so that's definitely good as well. Alright, so let's see how this does. Oh yeah, check that out. Man, this thing's going down even faster than I remember too, wow. 
Uh, I don't remember ever really being this strong before, but hey, I'm, I'll take it. Um, you can see we're going to have a chance to fire it on the next turn if we get there. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, I am going to go ahead and use another torpedo. Uh, we'll have it hit on the yellow turn, just maybe it'll do a little extra damage. Focus here, we'll have Gilder Guard, just in case it takes into account defense. But uh, I really don't think that'll matter too much. And, yeah, I mean, we're taking no damage anyway, so it really didn't matter. Alright, wow, we actually took that thing down, man. <laughs> Again, that's a lot easier than I remember it being. But uh, just in case uh, you're not as strong as I am and you're playing along, uh, the choice at the end of this round, he would basically um, act like he's retreating. You want to choose to stay put, and that'll give you a chance to fire the Moonstone Cannon. But, alright, got a complete kit there and a double shaft. Alright. My lord, the air pirates have broken our lines. The Delphinus is headed straight for us. <laughs> well done, Vice. You shall live just long enough to feel the destructive power of the Hydra. All cannons, fire on the Delphinus. There's an enemy ship ahead. It's huge. No, it can't be. Enrique, you know the ship? It's called the Hydra. It was dubbed the Flying Fortress. Gaussian must have had his own men complete it. My mother wanted its production stopped because of its magnitude. Why, wasn't it big enough? <laughs> Gaussian must be in there. This battle won't be over until we destroy that thing. Alright, Gaussian, it ends now. And unfortunately, so does this video. Oh man, this um, I feel so bad for stopping here, but... We're at 30 minutes, and we're coming up on a big battle here, so... Um, I think I'm going to stop it right here, and next time we will take on Galshin's flying fortress, the Hydra. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.